A little over 10 years ago, they built the Branson Landing. Yes. And before that, we had a baseball field, a public pool, a park, you know, all this stuff. Right. And in that park was what they called the Liberty Tree. That tree dated back to 1776, and it was still living at the time. Okay. They had to cut it down mm -hmm. to develop the landing. Yes. A lot of people were upset about yes. it, and naturally so. I mean, mm -hmm. that was American history. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a gentleman and his son who somehow arranged uh, to get the tree. Okay. So they have all the lumber and they've saved it in their wood shop okay. ever since. I'm not sure how it came about, but the developer uh, did some research, uh, did some reaching out, and he was really, he was kind of torn about how do I do the countertops because they've got to be unique, they've mm -hmm. got to stand out. Mm -hmm. Somehow or another, it, he thought of the Liberty Tree, he reached out to them, he shared the, the Tornado Proof project with them, they yeah. thought it was cool, they had a meeting, brought them out here, they said, yes, absolutely, the mm -hmm. Liberty Tree belongs in here. And so now we can proudly say yeah. that this Tornado Proof cabin has a piece of real American history. Wow. These countertops are made from the Liberty Tree. But all of this inlay, these are natural rocks from the Ozark Mountains. Oh, wow. This is all indigenous material, so to speak. Okay. All of these blue colored inlays mm. all throughout, this is turquoise. Actual turquoise? Actual turquoise. And right here mm -hmm. and right here, you have genuine Ozark Mountain arrowheads. Okay. Not made, not gotten at a gift shop at yeah. Silver Dollar City, the yeah, real thing. The real deal. And then uh, as an added touch, he put a penny from the year that the home was built 